Hey guys, so for today's video I changed up the set up a little bit. The audio might sound kind of echoey because I'm in a smaller room with like barely anything in it. But that's besides the point because in today's video I'm coming at you all with another back to school life hacks. Whoa, wait, wait, okay, I'm interrupting myself. If you're going back to school soon, make sure you share this video with a friend to freak them out and make them panic and start thinking about school even more because it's upon us. Alright guys, whether or not you want to believe it. It's almost here, so share this with a friend, especially if you like this. Yeah, let's get this video spread everywhere. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. And this is going to be 100 back to school life hacks. Um, it's more than 50. I don't know if it's quite 100, but it's more than 50, closer to 100. So we're just going to say that for sake of the title. Just in case you all missed it, last year I did a back to school life hacks video. It's one of the most popular ones on my channel. I get a lot of requests to make it again. So it'll be linked down below. Technically, there's more than 100 life hacks because there are 50 in that video. Without further ado, let's get on to the back to school life hacks. Some of these will even help out college students. It's gonna be a long video, <laughs> let's go. I can't memorize 100 life hacks in a short period of time. I wish I had that brain capacity. Maybe using these hacks will help me do that. So I'm gonna be reading these off my phone. They're just ones that I compiled off the internet. Some of these are my own as well. The first hack is for when you don't wanna wake up early. You just can't get out of bed and you just have nothing to look forward to when you wake up early for school. So it is one, get yourself like a nice breakfast to look forward to like the, maybe the previous night look up a recipe or something so then the next morning you'll really be looking forward like oh my gosh I get to eat this delicious meal in the morning or two just plan a really nice outfit personally I'm really excited to wear cute clothes and go to school when I know I'm looking good so if you plan your outfits the night before that's what I pretty much always do just because it saves time anyhow and especially it helps if it's a really cute outfit, you'll have something to look forward to and you'll get out of bed easier. Next hack is a method for studying that allows you to remember the most without like getting exhausted. It's called the Pomodoro Method. It's 25 minutes of hard work with a five minute break and every third break is 25 minutes long. This breaks up studying and you can work really rapidly. The next hack is study your notes within one day of taking them because the retention rate is 60% higher. If you can't imagine dropping a mic at the end of your essay, your conclusion needs to be stronger. So yeah, work on having like a really hard hitting ending where you're just like, and that's that. The next thing isn't education, but at school there are vending machines and snacks are very important. So say if you get like a bag stuck, don't buy the same thing again for it to come out. Instead, buy something above it. So it's a two for one deal. The thing above it will come down and hit it so you get two items. Let's go. Okay, you know when you've been writing an essay for a really long time and your just brain is on fire and then you have to proofread it and you just don't feel like reading what you wrote and all that? Just copy and paste it into Google Translate. Have that read it to you. Like if we're just reading something we just wrote, we'll kind of skim over it more and we won't notice it because, hey, we just finished doing that. Our brains are tired. So if you get someone else to read it, you're more likely to catch your mistakes. Okay, a lot of schools I know make you remember like certain digits of pi. So if you have trouble remembering that, just remember this common phrase and it is may I have a large container of coffee. The amount of letters in each word stand for a letter of pi, so may, three. I, one, have, four, so 3.14. And then the other ones are just like the extra digits and stuff. Next thing is in order to make sure you have enough time to get ready in the morning, make a playlist for exactly how long it takes you to get ready or exactly how much time you have to get out of the house. So by the last song, you'll be rushing and it'll end right when you need to leave. That's a good tip. Next thing I used to experience a pretty good lot is like waking up, the lighting just changed, it's really distracting me. But you wake up after a good long sleep and you're still tired, like what? How does that even work? Basically it means you're dehydrated and you should drink some cold water. The next thing is when you take notes in class, say you have a designated notebook, leave a couple pages blank and make a table of contents. So basically if you number your notebook pages or anything like that, you can put pages Starting on page one, I have intro notes to pre-algebra. And then say on page 25, you guys start, I'm just throwing out random things, scientific notation. And you can be like page 25 scientific notation. And it really helps if you break up your units because you can just, you know, skim through your notebook, especially during finals at the end of the year when you're trying to memorize certain concepts that you can't really remember when you learned. It's just all chronologically ordered in the notebook. I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to sit on my knees during this video, so if the angle change or anything like that, 
That's because I give up and I'm a trash human being. That's not a hack though, that's just a given. The next hack is if you're stuck on a test question, try reading it in your instructor or your teacher's voice. For some reason that just like unlocks your memory. I'm thinking of the room in Spongebob where he's friends. <laughs> no, that's not a scholarly thing to say, but yeah, just th read the question in your instructor's voice. I can see this helping. The next thing is if you're unable to choose a topic for an essay or an argument, choose a topic that infuriates you. You will be able to rant on it for hours. <laughs> Hillary Clinton. Um, yeah, choose something that you know you can argue. We all know there's a moment when we're like, I can't think of the word, I don't, I don't know what it is, I just, uh, but you can describe it. So wordhippo.com is basically a website where if you don't know a word, you can type in like a sentence or whatever, like, I don't know, somehow it reads your mind. It's crazy accurate, but if you don't know a word, it will tell you the word you're thinking of. The next thing I used kind of in my last video about making essays longer, but instead of changing the font of the words, you're going to change the font of the punctuation marks from 12 to 14. You might be like, what will this do? I can't really see that making a difference, but it changes the length of your paper drastically, so give that a try. Okay, you know when you have a song in your head at school or someone singing a song, this isn't education related, use the SoundHound app and you'll be able to find out what song everyone's thinking of, what you just can't put your finger on. Yeah, that's not really back to school, but hey, when we're in school, music is our best friend. We all have that moment when we're in caps lock and then we're not. However, when you're in caps lock and you accidentally type a word, highlight the word and click shift plus F3 and that will uncaps lock it so it's normal and it doesn't look like you're screaming at your teacher. So yeah. Say you're out to eat with some friends and you don't know what to tip or like how much it would be. Just take 20% by moving the decimal over at one place in your total. So say it was 15.76 then you have a dollar and 57 cents and then just double that number so after you move the decimal double the number but then you find out your tip would be three dollars and 14 cents and you know just round up to the dollar amount that's just how you can easily tip waiters and waitresses without drinking at your phone and using a calculator all right and before you say that's not school related we've all went out to eat for lunch we've all had to tip someone before so that's just life like school doesn't teach you these life hacks all right that's a basic life skill <laughs> stuffed noses are the absolute worst in order to beat them just push your tongue like on the roof of your mouth and then push your finger in between your eyebrows and hold that for 20 seconds all clear the next tip is something that's helped me tremendously if you're studying something new, try teaching a friend about it. If you can explain it to them well enough to teach them, or you can talk them through like certain steps, it really helps you memorize it a lot more and you can get it down pat. We all have those embarrassing moments where we're approaching a door and we don't know whether to push or pull or we move in the wrong direction. If you can see the hinges, pull the door. If you can't see the hinges, push the door. Simple as that. The next one will come in handy great for people going into college. So it's use soda tabs as clothes hangers. You know how if you have a limited space in your closet, you know the bar, it can only hold so many hangers. You put a soda tab on two of the hangers. However, one of the hangers will be hanging from the rod and the other hanger will be hanging from the pop tab that's attached to the other. So it'll be a bit lower, but you can save a ton of closet space. You know, I'm sure I'll have a diagram somewhere on the screen. <laughs> if you're having trouble finding answers, and there are some teachers that are just no nonsense, like you have to have it done by the next day, just look up the name of your textbook and then answers. If school's teaching us that it's better to do that than actually come to somebody for help, then it's obviously the school's fault. Writing out something is equivalent to reading it seven times. Now you know why girls always write stuff out, alright? The next thing is more of a basic life thing as well, but I mean, if you drive to school in the morning, just mount your phone using a simple rubber band. Here is the demonstration. I'm not going to try to confuse you guys by reading it off. <laughs> the next thing is if you ride the bus. So basically, you know how you like want to go to sleep, I don't know what kind of area, there is to be outside the window, okay. I don't know what kind of area you live in. So if you're afraid that someone's going to take your stuff, just wrap your backpack around your leg. Again, another demonstration will be here. And then if somebody tries to get your bag or yank it, you'll feel it. Like it'll wake you up because it'll be around your ankle. It doesn't look as weird as it sounds. <laughs> Anyone can use this next hack, but it's mainly focused towards people who live at their school. Like 
college students. So in order to save space in your dresser, just stack your clothes up after you fold them up vertically and I will again include a demonstration. Also, it's easier to see your clothes before you pick them out if they're not stacked up on top of one another. The next hack is for anyone having to keep up with multiple keys, so older kids and college students. So basically use nail polish and paint the keys each different colors in order to identify them. The next tip is the holy grill, okay? It is a ghetto accessory silencer. You know how you have those nice Apple headphones? You probably have a pair that doesn't work as well. So just cut off the headphone jack, you know, the part that actually goes into your phone. If the pair doesn't work, don't ruin the pair just to do this. And just put it in your phone. Your phone won't go off in class. You won't hear anything because that's honestly during exams especially. It's awful. The next thing, okay, if you're school like mine, Honestly, ketchup, mustard, salt, pepper, anything like that, you will not. You, no. It, good luck trying, okay? Or if there's like another condiment that your school doesn't have, like soy sauce, I don't know, you pack your lunch every day, say that. Then you just use a Mio container, you know, the little flavor drop enhancers. Of course, make sure it's empty and just put whatever you want in there. It's inconspicuous. That's great for your lunch box anything like that. The next hack is for when you want to hide your phone and basically you know how a calculator has a backing that slides off. Make sure your calculator is hidden and out of view though but just replace your phone with your calculator. From the back it looks like you're using your calculator. Don't look like you're too interested though. Your teacher might sense that something's up. If you don't know when to use the word effect or effect, you know, A versus E, just use the word impact. If you're a big coffee drinker before school and you go through like the drive-thru or Starbucks or wherever, just ask for a medium coffee in a large cup. Chances are they will overfill it, hence you get more bang for your buck. Somewhere on the screen, I will list 14 restaurants that actually give a student discount. A lot of these are things like free drinks or 10% off. If you stay up late to study your cram or whatever, you wake up in the morning, your under eye circles are awful. These bags are designer things. Before you apply concealer, use red lipstick to cancel out the darkness. The red and then the black, they just somehow work together and it kind of cancels it out. Don't forget to apply your concealer over that though. <laughs> I use this tip a lot making videos and you know for schoolwork as well. Say you type something out or you see an article you think is interesting, use command plus shift plus three, take a screenshot on the MacBook. It's like you know on your phone, you just take a screenshot by holding the two buttons down together. Do the same thing, it'll take a picture of your MacBook computer screen. Okay, say you have a friend and you don't know what they want for their birthday. How is this school related? Okay, laugh again. <laughs> if you don't know what they want for their birthday, make them guess what you got them three times. That'll kind of give you an idea of what they want. The next one is some full on shady stuff. This is a last resort, but it's the night before. You haven't turned in your essay. What are you gonna do? You haven't even started on it. Send a corrupted file to your teacher. This is evil. I'm sorry teachers, especially if you are at my school. <laughs> but yeah, send a corrupted file to your teacher. She won't know what's up. You can just say, oh, I must have made a mistake. I didn't convert the file or something. What? If you ever feel a sneeze coming on during school, press your tongue against the roof of your mouth and your sneeze is gone. Bye-bye. Say, Laura. See you later. Say your keyboard is really dusty and has crumbs. Get a post-it note and use a sticky end. Glide it through the computer, like keys and stuff like that, and it'll pick up any dust, dirt, gross stuff. Yeah. The next couple hacks are for school mornings when you're doing your hair. Basically, a lot of people don't know this, so public service announcement. But when you use a bobby pin, make sure the bumpy edge is the one resting against your scalp or against your head and not on top. If you do a sport or you just want to wear your hair up and you have pesky flyaways, use hairspray on a toothbrush and just comb out your flyaways and it will be perfectly flat against your head, no worries. Amazing. Another hack is for quick waves. Basically, if you don't have time, braid your hair and run a flat iron over it and it will create those nice beachy kind of mermaid waves. If you do a sport or you've been walking around all day and you're just not used to it, um, use a cold water bottle underneath your foot and just roll it and that will soothe any pain or cramping or soreness. No, it's not fun. Say you're just distracted by everything. You're like, what's on social media? I need to get on my computer. I have 10 tabs open. Use a website called keepmeout.com and basically that blocks all like other activities so you can just focus on writing your paper. 
Okay, that was the last hack. Um, save your comments for what the heck, clickbait. That was not a hundred. I counted. That was ninety-four life hacks. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> this video was a lot better than last year's. Thumbs up if you agree. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to keep up with me, my social media is down below. I'm pretty fun. For the footsteps. Anyway, that's gonna annoy some of y'all. I'll see y'all in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.